What's going on, everyone? Happy Saturday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and testing negative for all those viruses that can make us sick. It is time now for the Saturday edition of the Virus Update for Saturday, January 3rd, 2026. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Maybe you've clicked onto this video because you're sick right now. Well, we tend to talk about the viruses that can make people sick because there's so many viruses out there and at any given time of the year there seems to be a lot of people sick anymore so i developed this program where i talk about those viruses that can make us sick by giving you the latest news data and information on what is going on want to stay informed just subscribe down below share this video with anyone you know hit that notification bell give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button down below and, of course, leave your comments down below. Alrighty, we do have a few news stories and things to take a look at today. And then we got a few random things. We're going to take a look at what's going on with the EMS, the hospitals, and a couple state-related things, which also goes hand-in-hand -hand with what we're talking about with the news as well. Starting off with this, in Alaska, flu cases spike, causing at least three deaths and high numbers of hospitalizations yeah, this is not good. At least three Alaskans have died from complications of influenza so far this season. That's one of the lower totals that we're seeing so far. Remember, Alaska is not as big of a state, but get this. Uh, Alaska has seen about 1,100 reported flu cases so far this season, the state health department reported. Again, it's one of the lower totals. Uh, there are smaller states. Some states are doing well north of that in just a single week, but nonetheless, the flu is hitting every region of the United States, including Alaska. So, yeah, things are not going in the right direction uh, when it comes to flu. And speaking of Alaska, let's stick on a colder topic for a minute, since Alaska is one of the colder states in the United States. Hey, yesterday, remember I was telling you that I was going to be doing some ice fishing? Did just that yesterday. Uh, had some new warmer gear this year after what happened last year for ice fishing. You may recall with my COVID case last, uh, well, very early last year, it kind of messed up my tolerance to cold. Well, it wasn't a particularly cold day yesterday. I mean, there wasn't much wind. Yeah, the temperature was around freezing, but I didn't get cold. We'll see what happens on one of the colder days. So, fared out well. Hey, tomorrow I am going ice fishing again at a different place. Then after that, well, may not be doing it for a while because we're expecting a big warm-up here. So what am I leading up to here? Tomorrow's video will be pre-recorded in advance. I think I'm going to record it this evening with whatever other news stories pop up and just a whole bunch of wastewater sites for what is known as Wastewater and Dashboard Sunday. All right, moving on. That's that. And in case you're wondering, did not catch any fish yesterday. Hopefully, maybe we will catch some fish at this other place we are going to try tomorrow, about an hour and a half away from here. Hence why I have to re, uh, pre-record the video, because it's an hour and a half just to get there. All right, Pennsylvania reports, speaking of my state, 22 flu-related deaths amid high hospitalization rates. You already know that. Uh, we mentioned this earlier in the week, but it's good repeating since I sold a news story. Pennsylvania has reported 22 flu-related deaths and over 35,000 confirmed cases of flu this season since it began back in September. According to the health department, 552 adults and 142 children have been hospitalized due to the flu. Despite the concerning number, the doctor noted that not as many people are getting their flu vaccines this season. That's something that can be said everywhere. Vaccine has the, just a whole bunch of, it's down. If you want to get it, fine. If you don't want to get that's up to you. That's totally your decision. I'm not going to have that controversial uh, discussion here. All right, moving on to this. Massachusetts is also seeing a big problem. There's a lot of states seeing multiple thousands of cases of flu in just one week. Hey, does that sound familiar? Yeah, that's something we used to do with COVID. It's something we probably still are doing. We still do it with COVID. We're just not hearing the true numbers. Uh, these are reported numbers, which... Ugh, that's not good. That means we're missing a lot of cases. Tracking a sharp rise of flu cases in Massachusetts. And how high are those numbers, may you ask? Well, in Massachusetts, the state recorded more than 8,800 flu cases in its most recent weekly report from December 21st through to December 27th. Yeah, we're slowly starting to find out just how bad the flu numbers were during the holidays and 
they were bad. In the previous week, they had 7,200 lab confirmed cases. So there is a little bright spot in that the tiny one. The increase did not double like we saw in Ohio. Yeah, they had 8,800 cases, but that's only 1,600 more than 7,200. So maybe it's going to slow and peak soon. I don't know. I'm just trying to be hopeful. We all know the kids go back to school next week, and pretty soon the college students go back. Some will go back early. Some will go back a couple weeks later. That whole combination alone of all the kids going back to school, going back to work, back to the offices, uh, that's going to add to even more cases. So, though we may soon see, I think things are going to just stay high. And with COVID, we won't go there. We, we don't know what's going to happen with COVID for the rest of the winter. Uh, speaking of that, I mean, here's one of the reasons. Look at California. COVID. Some California sewer sheds updated to December 29th for some sites increased shown below. And uh, let's see if we can put this into another tab so we can. This is from Sci-Fi. He took a screenshot here. And we can see some of these uh, areas are starting to go. Look, look at the Bay Area. There's starting to be some uh, strong and very strong increases there. Central California is seeing an increase. And we're also seeing, again, the Bay Area, things are starting to go up. Uh, Los Angeles area is starting to see an increase. It just says increase. doesn't say strong or very strong. So you get the point here. California is starting to trend in the wrong direction when it comes to COVID. This is starting pretty late. We're starting to get the effect from the holidays. So will this continue beyond the holidays? Uh, we've seen that happen before out on the West Coast where some places peak, like the Northeast, the Midwest, and then... The West Coast starts to do its own thing. So I honestly don't know what's going to happen going forward. We're just now starting to see a place like California increase. Will Oregon, Washington, and some of the other Western places follow? Well, we'll have to wait and see what the data says. Uh, well, especially wastewater. That's going to be our biggest way to find out. All right, let's move on to this. Uh, measles. This is South Carolina. Yeah, yet again, we get, I think, updates there twice a week. I don't even know. Um, 185 uh, total measles cases there now, and I think that means that it increased by nine. Let's read. The South Carolina Department of Public Health is reporting nine new cases of measles in the state since Tuesday. That would make sense. This graphic they used in the video, we're not going to play the video, but, yeah, they're showing 20 new cases, 176. That was the update, I believe, that came out on Tuesday. So uh, it would make sense if they're saying 185 up here, 176 there. It's nine new cases. And four of those uh, new cases uh, were known household exposures. One resulted from a previously reported school exposure. Hey, I got to say something here. A school exposure? It's now January 3rd. That just shows you can how long it can take. I mean, schools have been closed for about a week and a half now, we'll say. You know, some school districts longer. Some had to close early because of flu. Uh, the point I'm trying to drag across here is school exposures and a week and a half to two weeks out from that potential exposure time frame. Yikes. That shows you why they have to quarantine people for so long. The latest end date for those currently in quarantine is January 24th. I'm sure there will be more people added. I'm sure once schools open back up, uh, things will start spreading again. But if there's a, any glimmer of hope, Schools have been closed, as I just said, for a week and a half to two weeks. Hopefully, maybe, just maybe, that could have helped slow this outbreak down. We'll see. We're not going to know for a couple more weeks, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. I mean, schools being, you would think that maybe helps a little bit. I'm trying to be hopeful here. All right, this did not update to us since earlier in the week. We won't get a new update till, does it even say here? Uh, let's refresh this. Weekly influenza. Now, it doesn't say when the next update is going to be. But uh, you can see here, the influenza-like illness map, it's clearly getting worse all across the United States. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, holiday reporting. This is the epidemic status. Okay, so updates will resume on Monday, January 5th. We'll actually update that date. Guess we'll have to wait and see. But you can clearly see here, epidemic uh, trends for COVID-19. Yeah, they're growing in a lot of places. Not changing on the West Coast, but I suspect... That may change soon. We just saw California wastewater starting to go up. Influenza, still a lot of problems. And the same thing with RSV as well. All right, take a look at this. I thought I would do one of my Google Trends searches. I think we're going to use this tool a lot more in 2026. I feel we used it last year. We didn't use it enough during surges of viruses. In this case, flu. Uh, COVID, yeah, you can type in COVID, but... 
unfortunately, you're not going to get a lot of results. A lot of people don't just search that anymore. They think, oh, it must be a cold or something else. Well, take a COVID test. Take a three-in-one test. Is it COVID? Is it influenza A? Is it influenza B? Just don't think that you have a cold. I mean, uh, check to make sure it's not one of the viruses that we can at least test at home for. All right, interest over time for H3N1. That's the strain of flu this year. It's subclay K. Then type that in. Take a look at this. There was zero interest in that all the way from 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and look at that. It has really spiked. It dropped a little bit, and now it's it's spiking again. It's near 100. Let's take this on a worldwide level, shall we? Take a look at this, and you can see. Now, on a worldwide level, it has spiked in the past. United States it hasn't, but uh, it peaked around, let's see here, September 14th to 20th, then it has dropped a little bit. I suspect it may go back up again. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I uh, remember that peak right there, December 14, 20, that's right around the time the UK peaked. So that's really interesting. And then prior to that, you had back in October into November when Japan was really getting bad. You saw it went up there. So uh, losing the UK, hey, maybe that's why it has peaked on this. All right, let's take a look at my website. No, not the advertisement. I promise you at some point, Maybe not today, this week. At some point within the next couple of weeks, we're going to get this advertising uh, issue with Google AdSense fixed where it works the way it's supposed to and you don't actually get directed away from the... Yeah, you know, it, I, I don't know. I have to figure it out somehow. Probably going to have to watch some videos to learn how to fix that. All right. The tracking threads for 2026 data report.info is my website. We have added a few more now. we got the sports illness thread. We have the international, uh, you know, bird flu Highly pathogenic avian influenza. We have a masking thread. New this year. I thought I would add a new one this year. Food recall tracking thread. From time to time, we have been seeing food recalls. So I thought, you know what? Let's just do a compilation of the food recalls that pop up throughout the year. List of performers sick in 2026. U.S. sports illness thread, which surprisingly at the moment, the uh, international scene, that's, that I've had already up to five replies in there. And who knows? The day's not done. We tend to see a lot of sports illnesses pop up over the weekends. You know, the most sports activity actually does happen over the weekend. Yeah, it happens all week long, but, you know, on the weekend, there's more sporting events. So, interestingly enough, the international sports illness thread is taking the lead so far. We'll keep a track on that throughout the year. I think U.S. will probably end up being the more popular one by the end of the season. That's the way it was last year. Measles tracking thread. That will come probably by the end of the day. Maybe you'll even see that in the next video. Who knows? All right, moving on now. We do have some other things to take a look at. Uh, Walgreens Acute Respiratory Illness Score. It's 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. It's not good. That includes COVID and flu A and flu B. A lot of people are sick right now. Look at that. Even Puerto Rico is coming up on 10 at this scale. Taking a look at what's going on with wastewater activity levels in Canada. COVID-19 is moderate. Flu A is high. Flu B is low. RSV is listed at high at this time. Let's take a look at what's going on with the air qualities in the United States. We'll look at it for today's video. Probably won't include that in the Sunday video. So that means this is where we usually do the hydration break. We'll have to have some other portion of the video be a reminder to stop and take this, the hydration break, where we take a drink of water or whatever liquid we're using at this time. Given we are recording two days' worth of videos today, you probably won't see a cup of coffee in the Sunday video. Look at this, the West Coast. Yeah, air qualities are bad still along the West Coast, but look east of the Mississippi River. That's not good. That's the worst we've seen for the eastern portion of the United States in a very long time. And I'll be very honest with you. I don't know why these centers are coming up so bad at the moment. We're going to have to do some research. You know what? Maybe that will be something I do this afternoon. Do some research, and I'll include that in the Sunday video. Something about why air qualities are so bad. If I can find anything. If I can't find anything, then obviously we are not including that. Let's take a look at what's going on in Pinellas County, Florida. Yeah, we do see sick person here showing up a few times you do see a few other things maryland not happy about this i have to refresh this uh, this is a saturday and look how many fours there are we're not going to count how many hospitals are at a level four bad for the emergency department meaning 131 percent or greater occupied but it's a high number and we also see trauma bypass we see a black one here 
Uh, let's see here. What does does it? It'll tell us here what code black means. The emergency department is effectively closed to EMS traffic due to unsafe conditions. Mm, something going on there could be some sort of a uh, emergency in the emergency department, and that is at uh, Walter Reed National Medical Center. Hmm, that's interesting. Gonna have to look into that one because uh, you know, oftentimes, as you know, that's where the president's going. Well, we know the president's currently down in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, I, I don't know what that's all about at the moment. All right. Daily totals. This is EMS totals for Friday, January 2nd. 783. This is for Philadelphia. I should have told you that. 783 EMS incidents. Of course, if you've been watching this channel long enough, you know we often include this. We won't be including the Saturday totals in the Sunday video. Uh, we'll get to them on Monday. And oftentimes we don't for the Sunday video because they come out so late on Saturdays. Take a look at this. Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. We do see several things showing up. Oh, we know this person's sick because it flat out says fever. Haven't seen that listed during the video in a while. And we see a hemorrhaging is showing up several times. Oh, that's not good. Respiratory emergencies showing up. So, yeah, there are definitely some calls. What's going on in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Hey, look at this. We didn't have to restart anything. It came back on its own. So clearly their dashboard was down. I checked it on another computer. Yeah, it was down there. And now today, suddenly it came back. Sick person showing up multiple times. Respiratory difficulty and heart problems is also showing up. Taking a look at what's going on in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. No, there are not currently 15 EMS calls there. That is way behind. That's yesterday, I believe. But eh, there are still 10 so that's not a good thing. All right, moving on now. We do have some new things to look at for New York State. 689 new COVID cases, not flu. COVID cases have been reported in New York State. And we also do see here that hospital admissions saw a big increase. So that's telling me cases are going to backfill even more. We're going to see cases probably go higher. Hospital admissions, 533. That's up significantly from 451, which was in the previous report. Let's take a look at wastewater. I'm just going to do national looks. On the Sunday video, we'll go to individual wastewater sites, and we'll look at some more dashboards as well. Uh, we can see COVID here on the national level. It's listed as high. Things have changed. Still high in the Northeast and the Midwest. Now medium in the South. Also medium on the West Coast as well. Um, yeah, I think Again, I think the West Coast is definitely seeing something. Is it major at the moment? No, not compared to other years, but they're definitely starting to join in the action that we're seeing in other parts of the country. RSV is high in the South, the Northeast, the Midwest, and it's just low on the West Coast at this time. Influenza A, high all across the nation, and norovirus is also high all across the nation as well. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Saturday edition of the virus update we will have another video for tomorrow i'm going to record that in just a little bit i don't know what it's going to consist of we'll look over 20 minutes or it could who knows i may find a bunch of news stories we missed for the saturday video so if you want to see me again tomorrow hit that notification bell subscribe if you're new down below if you like today's video give it a thumbs up share this with anyone you know help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and of course if you have any comments Leave them down below. I will see everyone again tomorrow. Until I see you then, stay safe and have a fantastic Saturday evening. Thanks for watching.